You know, recently there's been a lot of articles pointing out how men are far less emotionally intelligent than women and how that's been ruining their relationships. Oh yeah, you know, I always say the wife's more intelligent than me. Emotionally, of course. You know, it's unfortunate, but it's a department that we lack in. Last week, we're at the airport. Our plane gets delayed an hour, whereas my natural instinct would be to say, it is what it is. There's nothing yeah, we can do. Brittany had the emotional intelligence to realize this is a big deal. Mm -hmm. We should be arguing with anyone who will listen, and in general, just going ballistic, regardless of whether or not it'll help. <laughs> Look, it's and not about stupid. whether or not it helps. No. For example, say you plan an outdoor event and it begins to rain, an emotionally unintelligent person like myself might suggest some sort of alternative or contingency. <laughs> or maybe we'll do it on another day as opposed to realizing that this is in fact the end of the world and you should be flying off the handle. You know, whether you're reading an article about COVID coming back or your Uber Eats driver brings you the wrong order, we as men do not have the emotional intelligence to realize that not only is this something we should be freaking out about, stupid. but we should also be becoming actively hostile to others who are remaining that calm. Stupid. So he came home and he was like, you know, babe, I lost my job. I'm like, all right, cool. So a month later, like the bills, it was time for the bills or whatever. You know, and I'm like, you know, the bills do, babe, or mm -hmm. whatever. Just lost and he was job. like, okay, you know, I'm not working. And and I'm just, in a month, like, it's all kind of hustles. You could have been doing something or whatever. So I told him, I said, look, if I pay these bills, are you going to pay me the money back? No. This man had the nerve to tell me, why should I pay my wife back for, for paying our bills? Oh, I she told playing. this man from day one, my money is my money. She playing. And his money is our money. She playing. Why should I spend my money paying the bills? Like, no, he should have paid me back. So that's when I decided, like, I can't be with this man no more. So I had texted his homeboy. Like, we all cool. I texted his homeboy or whatever. You know, we went together. We, we got, we left. We, I met up with him. And we was, you know, we was chill, we was chilling, we were drinking or whatever. And I started venting. Right, I right, started right. venting, you know, like I started getting emotional. One thing led to the next. I did not purposely mean to do what I did with this. <laughs> she but played. things happen. Things right. happen. Like, y'all understand what I'm going through. So, you know, his friend ended up giving me some money or whatever. And he was like, you know, babe, look, don't worry about it. Do handle whatever you got to handle. So prostitution, effectively. And you're married. Like, his friend was every single thing I desire in a man. Like, everything I desire in a man. And, you know, ain't nobody Except trying to hear husband. my side. Ain't nobody trying to hear. All right, y'all. So, I seen a man say, ladies, why does our sense of discernment always tell us when a man is being unfaithful? But it, it never tells us when a man is unhappy. And I ain't gonna lie, it kind of made sense. Yep. We don't be seeing that chum. <laughs> but we can tell when that mofo is cheating. Oh, you see it coming. You know it's there. Ladies, do you want to answer this in the comments? Because I want to know. I'm curious too. Men are the problem. Men. Men leave. Are men trash? Men or a bear? It's because a man done did something to her. The bear, the bear's not gonna. So men have been. Men are the most horrible creatures. Going back to that previous video, there was a man in the comments that talked about, you know, they see it, but, you know, if it has to do with their happiness, then all of a sudden it's, well, you know, why don't you go out with your boys or something like that? Or why don't you go out for a drink or something like that? They never, women like that don't address the root cause. If it is not about their happiness, then they can't see it. I can only decipher that there's something up and you're messing with somebody else because you're acting weird with me. And at that point, that's not really intuition. That's more so along the lines of, well, the patterns, like that's a pattern thing. Like your patterns have changed. Your ways of treating me has changed. And so now I'm unhappy. So I'm investigating why I'm unhappy about this thing. And I find out that you're with somebody else. That's what that is. So really it's not intuition, it's just you don't really care about anything else but yourself. We need a support group for all the picky women who keep picking the wrong man. We need a support group. We need picky anonymous. We need PA. If like me, you were a woman that men typically <laughs> don't find attractive or like that most men aren't attracted to, um, do you ever find that guys will find like a subtle way of indicating that an interaction is friendly and not flirtatious? Like the like other day, what? Um, this guy came up to me and 
told me that he liked my glasses. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And then he fist bumped me. <laughs> it was just so funny because like they, they want to make sure you know that they're not hitting on you. What? But they don't want to straight up say, I'm not hitting on you because that might be a little bit rude in their eyes. But like they find a subtle way to, they might use words like dude or bro, another thing that I've heard too. But like, do you ever notice that that happens quite a bit? Maybe, but also it might just be, I don't want to be perceived as a creep, but I do want to compliment you. And if you're open for conversation, then we might continue on with that. From across the room, I can see it and can't stop myself from looking and noticing you, noticing me. Reach out, I've seen a type. No, no, it was about Andrew Wilson. He brings up tone placing sometimes when people say, well, I agree with you, but I don't like the way you said it. I think it's just because he doesn't meet people where they're at. And I don't think he's- Oh, that's a bunch of woman garbage. We have to meet people where they're at. Do you yes. want the vision that you see for the I world? Yeah, of, and the vision I see for the world is not going to be met through convincing a bunch of emotional, irrational women Dang. that what is reality is non-negotiable. Why do they're you have all to be just hateful gonna, in your speech? It's like, not you never hateful. Say, you it's never, not What about this male is, passivity? It's more woman garbage. <laughs> you don't have to say it like that, though. You can just say this is- That is this tone is policing. It's nonsense. This whole, I agree with what you said, but not how you said it that's bull and this it's is emotional. the problem with giving women power because now suddenly everyone's an hr manager everyone's a hall monitor no, i just don't understand why you have to Joe. say woman hall monitor is because wild. it's a woman problem men don't do this men don't constantly go okay, actually so i agree with you i just don't, don't like it <laughs> no not really there are not a lot of men that do that but hold on before we get carried away there's a certain way that you have to say certain things you can't just go crazy but i i hope that we all understand that you can't just go you can't just talk to anybody any kind of way right don't police me but if i say something and it's well within the bounds and it's not below the belt that's what fighting fair is in relationships not hitting below the belt you share getting men to respect you give you princess treatment and treat you like a queen is literally so easy so if you're like me and your mom didn't teach you how to make your man obsessed with you this is how rule number one is every single man will treat you based on the way that you look based on the way that you think about yourself based on the way that you act and the way that you speak what that all boils down to is what she what she's saying is right so far but it's just how she's presenting herself that's weird to me and i'm trying to figure out what that is is he's just treating you based on who you think you are the cheat code is that you make your own standards you determine your worth and you just have to act talk and look and feel like you're that girl and you'll get whatever you want so mm -hmm. here is how to do that when you're dating so that they can literally respect you chase you become obsessed with you and once you do all those things you make him spoil you he will literally become so in love with you he'll be asking you to move in with him to marry him because that's literally what happened to me after i started doing this the most important thing is that you always remain on a pedestal you always remain the prize throughout your in there is something in there that's what it is she's saying like what she's saying is she's trying to get I'm trying to get you to, to to have a man that's into you, but the way she's going about it is conniving. That's the only word I can think of. When you start dating, you have to attract a man in a way where you are on a pedestal. You are the prize. You have to actually attract him. You can't look desperate. You can't look like you want a man. You have to look like you are literally obsessed with yourself. You are so focused on your own life. You are just so like satisfied without him. Mm. Second thing is you want to date him in your feminine energy. That oh, means God. you're not intimate with him. He is literally paying you for your time what? and energy and money and- I knew from the moon roof, she was gonna say something weird. I knew from the moon roof, anyway making you happy this dating process should be all about you and him trying to Jesus. earn your love and trying to make you feel comfortable around him like you can trust him and the more you get him to invest into you and to spoil you and to work for you the more psychologically he will literally become obsessed with you no. and feel more he'll respect you and for that you definitely want to learn how to communicate in your feminine energy in a way where you are just telling him about what you want and just communicate this is a whole bunch of 
Just communicate like a normal person. When you go to McDonald's, do you get in your feminine? Oh, I really would like some chicken nuggets. Oh, can you give me a McFlurry, Daddy? No, never McFlurry. Sure you can. That'll be two dollars. Instead of being like, oh, you don't do this for me. You don't do that for me. And making it actually a problem. Because when you do that, then you kind of ruin the vibes. And he starts seeing you as somebody who creates more problems in his life versus makes him like more of a masculine man and makes his life more fun after that you just want to be a walking green flag what does that mean you want to learn how to be a high value woman you want to learn how to look put together look feminine how to act proper how to act feminine out in public you want to learn how to make him give you princess treatment make him open the door for you make him buy you flowers because if you think most men just think out of the blue to get their women massive bouquet of flowers it's usually not the case. It's because we as the women are the catalyst. Men know that it will make us happy. So somehow we give them the idea and then they go and do it. Now I learned all of this, not from my mom. I love you mom, but I learned everything from a viral formula that I found on TikTok. There this is. is called the high value woman formula. There it is. And basically it shows you exactly how to dress talk act and feel like a feminine princess who is a high value woman it shows you step by step how to attract a man in a way where you are on the pedestal you are the prize in social settings when you go out when you're at events like it literally shows you how to make eye contact how to talk to him how to make him chase you then how to date him in your feminine energy to where he spoils you he invests into you he respects you and he becomes more obsessed with you because he is investing in you like you are a valuable asset tells you exactly what men want as a massive green flag so when they think about you all they can think about is how amazing you are and i kid you not after i started using this men were literally telling me like where have you been all my life you are literally the perfect woman because men? a lot of them are used to women who are just trying to figure it all out don't necessarily know how to act properly around them women who are trying to be high value and they can just tell if you really have it all together so this formula literally showed me exactly what to do and say to a t with scripts how to get him to buy me flowers open the door for me respect me literally become obsessed with me and chase me the second link in my bio is the same high value woman formula that i used and all the girlies who are downloading it right now are also getting the princess treatment formula for free which is so wild not building a connection that's what it is not building a connection just looking for like another video said uh, somebody that's a doer He'll buy these things for me. He'll do this for me. He'll do that. Honey, do. Honey, do this. Honey, do that. And you don't, you really have a, a, a let me not say that. You have somebody that you use for things that you want to be done and you don't really have a connection for it with them. And then you get mad and you want to divorce them because they're not really anything to you. But you created that dynamic yourself because you're not really creating that environment. Nobody is. You just want them to do a whole bunch of stuff for you. If you know that you're upset at your man about something, the only way to get him to understand your emotions is by silence. Right. Because that You know works. what they say? A silent woman is a dangerous woman. A stupid and one, CIA I'd say. CIA has nothing on a woman with a plan. Right. Hello. When you're silent, a man doesn't know what you're thinking. But the problem is women like to run their mouth too much and start complaining too much. But when you're silent, he doesn't know what you're thinking. He doesn't know your next move. And that's where you have the power because now he's going to be on his toes trying to be on his best behavior because he doesn't know where you at mentally. And that's usually how you win an argument with your man by being silent. Makes sense. Makes sense. Don't say nothing. He could be like, oh, you did this. You did that. Keep quiet. Like, oh, okay. As bad as you want to say something, you just keep quiet because you, you know why when you keep quiet he's gonna keep picking at you picking at you picking at you and when it's time for you to let him know what he did wrong he's not gonna really have anything to say that you said because you didn't say nothing you allowed him to show out you be like yeah i'm gonna allow you to do your big one do your big one you want to make a scene do your big one and mm -hmm. i'm gonna sit here and look at you but when i come i have a full stack and when i hit it i'm hitting hard and i'm hitting home that sounds like something that uh, really a woman just like you would do sounds like somebody that 
wants to remain single would do. I don't get the point of that because that's stupid. Like that is toxic behavior. And I don't know why you're saying that. I don't know what the, the end all be all of that is except stupidity, which if that's what you want to do, then kudos to you. But this is dumb. Hello. And you didn't Just say nothing. Just like becoming a submissive so woman is so crazy. You didn't say nothing. So don't shake your head like that. Because the power you hold by doing that, I'll give a couple points. One, yeah. I was afraid that my feelings won't be valid or like I won't have a voice. What I noticed by just letting my husband make the decisions and just following that, he asks me for all the advice. He comes to me for every question. Yeah. He'll call me, what do you think about this? I don't know what to do. I'm That's like, wow, what? Yeah. And then I say it, what I think, and then he does it. Mm -hmm. So I end up having a leadership role yeah. by just letting him be the final say, but he values my wisdom. Yeah. The other ones you saying, like, like with that word submit, right? When you look at it from an etymological, you break it down, it means she responds to you. When, when a man knows that he can trust his woman, he will value her opinion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A man, when he knows that his woman has his back mm -hmm. and when he knows that- You're not going rogue. He has that woman that he can trust. He's going to love her and value her in everything that he does. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going rogue. You're not pulling against me. I know I can trust you because you're not going to get me out there embarrassed based off of what you want. But if a woman is going back and forth with a man all the time and I can't trust your opinion because you just really at that point in time, what that shows me is that you're really in it for your own what you want your self-worth you're always arguing and there's no compromise so i can't trust you and you become an enemy to me and you don't know that yeah. can a guy have less than you and you f me? <laughs> oh why you saying love what, I, I hear you you clean your throat <laughs> oh, you said, mm -mm. <laughs> yeah you said, no mm -mm. <laughs> no i hear you that's what i'm saying oh yeah no, no i'm listen. not i i have to have i feel like like that's one of my as a man i feel like you just should have more than me like yeah because dating somebody that doesn't have more they're gonna try to make you feel less than yeah. as a woman that's how i feel genuinely um i know girls who are more dominant in the relationship as far as financial status and their boyfriends try to dog them out just to make them feel like they not that and i never want to be a part of that but if i'm gonna be in a relationship i'd rather it be with somebody that i could actually that could benefit me rather than somebody that's taken away from yeah. me what i got going on because mm -hmm. these men that don't have the financial status that you have, they are going to try to just make you feel like you're not her. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. I have plenty of friends that got money and they got a regular guy. Why would I help a man get on his feet if there are men who are already standing up? <laughs> Me not because they're standing up next to the woman that helped him get on his feet. <laughs> Talk to them. Talk to them. You know, there's nothing wrong with finding a man who's established. I just think that there's nothing wrong either with finding a man who's determined. Your soulmate's your teammate. If you take a black woman and I'm stick saying. her in a room with 10 black men, random, just random pick, just go pick a random, go to the mall and pick 10 random black people, stick them in a room, ask every one of them, what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? How many kids do you have? What do you do for a living? What is your education level? Da, 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 da. What are your accomplishments in life? I'm going to say eight times out of 10, that woman has outdone every man in that room. Interesting. And still doing stuff. In what regard? Like, what are we talking about? You have a degree or are you actually making more money than that man? Because if we're talking about like finances, statistically speaking, the man is probably making more. Right. But of course, you're going to probably say something about the wage gap and the pay gap and all that other stuff right there. But you could be doing a whole bunch of stuff, but it not might not be more than the man. So busy work isn't always good work. I'm just telling you. When guys come and say crazy stuff to you, just think about that. Mm -hmm. Just think about that. <laughs> Even me, if you take me and stick me in a, in a room, even as a housewife, right? I have still have I still have more accomplishments How? and I still probably earn way more How? as a housewife that don't even leave the house right. and just sits on YouTube and talks.
that's what you're doing. That's a job that you're not doing nothing. So you haven't accomplished anything as a housewife. You haven't accomplished more. What you've done is start a business that you're running from home. <laughs> you see, you see how the scale works? <clears throat> Modern men want a traditional woman, but they don't want to be a traditional man. So you right. want a woman to come home from a job just like you did, clean, cook, do the laundry, take care of the kids, and you guys are both going to work. Do you see how that don't make sense? No, it does it make makes sense. sense. And yes, I do want you and to I do will. that. Are Not you delusional? Be... No. First so you're of all, telling me that yeah. a woman has to go work like a man every day, and a man goes work, and he's tired when he gets home. A woman's not tired. She has to clean, hey, cook, power. do the dishes, do the laundry. Are you kidding me? First of all, one. I go just ahead. want you to understand that yelling doesn't mean you're winning an argument. I never it's just a it sign of frustration and the inability to articulate okay. in a respectful okay. way and make a okay. valid point. Tell it's a sign of low intelligence. Okay. Your point is invalid, and you sound like the rest of these unwedded women talking about, I'm going to go to work like you. Do you want me to cook, clean? If that wow. was the case, so what? Yes, you're going to cook, clean, do this and do that. And guess what? He taking the trash out. He fixing the house. He making sure this. Do y'all have different responsibilities That's and different roles? A lot of modern day women <laughs> don't even know. It's ridiculous to have responsibilities. That they not fit to be a wife. And you think I'm not fit to be a wife? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? You're trying to stop her? A woman hitting you is one of the highest forms of disrespect there is. You got to get rid of her immediately. immediately. But a woman hitting you in front of people, Multiple not only times. does she not respect you, but she is disgusted with you because she deems you as weak. And the worst part of this whole situation is everybody sat back and let her do it. This is a good example of what society forward. often does. Ignore women's poor behavior in relationships and just demonize the men. Exactly. When she was getting her sh off, somebody was laughing in the back. Nobody Key intervened. In. The moment he attempted to restrain her, the other guy swoops in automatically. Jack wow. him up. Yo, it's a dirty game. Stay focused, though. A bunch of foolishness. A bunch of foolishness. Now, if that was her drink, wouldn't have touched it. But even at the same time, even if that is her drink, that does not give you cause to put your hands on them like that. I give you one. I give you one lick. Hey, man, keep your hands off my drink. Don't do that. He picks it up again. You keep on hitting him in the face in front of everybody. And then when he's pushing you back, the man didn't even raise his fist. He didn't even raise his hand. But he's pushing you back, and all of a sudden now it's a problem. And now you got it. Now you want now another man's gonna jack you up against the door. I wasn't touching her. I'm just trying to restrain her. He's trying to explain that to the man. Oh, yeah, I'm stopping her. No, you're not stopping her. You got your hands on me. If you were trying to stop her, you'd have your hands on her. You see how stupid that sounds? You guys need to get together. I'll have both of you take responsibility in this. If you know that she, you pick up a drink and she's acting like this, because she was already acting like that when the camera turned on. You got a drink in your hand. She don't like it. Put it down. Leave. Right. But also at the same time, you're hitting a man. You're hitting a man and he's not doing anything about it. And because you just so mad, you're letting your emotions take over. You're just going to keep on hitting him in the face. Closed fist, like straight up and not expect it. Try it on somebody else. Try that on somebody else. You, you can be in front of anybody. It don't matter. Try that on somebody else. They're not going to take that. And the dude that was in the green that decided to swoop over and be a hero, kudos to you, bro. But if she keep on hitting dudes like that, you're going to have a problem and she's going to have a problem. And both of y'all going to have to handle that problem together. But that's just my opinion. Until the next video, I'm out. <laughs>